Hey there, this is Manga Studio Sensei, and this is a tutorial on how to get better poses, better custom poses from Manga Studio. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have enough RAM to, or give enough RAM to this program so that it actually functions properly. So what you want to do is you want to go to File, Preferences, and go to Performance, and then give it as much RAM as possible. Now, I'm running, I'm running 8 gigs of RAM on my system, and it's still a little sluggish, but before I was at like 40% and 8 gigs, and it was just was not enough. It, for whatever odd reason, this changes how the program behaves, and specifically, it, it directly influences how 3D works. And so if you want a quick fix for that, just give it as much RAM as you possibly can, and you'll notice a little bit, a little bit of an improvement. It's not going to be the difference between night and day, really. It's not going to be smooth and buttery like another program, but it's still good enough to be useful. The next tip is to use the mouse wheel. So the mouse wheel allows you to rotate things um, based on uh, what specific part you've selected. So on the r that particular wrist elbow joint, you can actually adjust the rotation of a wrist from that point, despite the fact that there is no um, guide axis guideline to adjust uh, the wrist portion. It's just that it actually can only influence the elbow. But the same, and so like you just touch there and then it's different. Like you can still go touch to the hand and re rotate it, but nevertheless, it's still it's it's just convenient. It's one of those convenience tricks. And when it comes down to posing, unless you have infinite patience, which I don't, I try to speed it up as much as possible. So that's a nice little shortcut. So the next thing, the most important thing, is to lock specific things. So if we we've done this before, where we ra want to raise her hand, she tilts over. I raise her hand again, she tilts over some more. So then I have to touch her chest and adjust her back to the center. Now, there's a way to avoid this, and that is by locking. So what the way to lock is you just simply right click. So you right click on the places that you want to lock. So like I'm locking her chest region, and I'm, I'm going to lock her feet because if you just lock her chest region, she actually spins around her chest region like, region like it's an axis. So be sure to do that. And then you raise your arm, and you notice how little movement there is now. I mean, there's still some, but it's still not as much. You can you can refine it further. And so I'm going to adjust your hand a little bit more, and then I'm going to go and lock her hand, and then I'm going to move her other arm, and then move position. So now we have basically the ideal pose without all the rest of the mess that we usually get when we're just messing with the with the model. So now just rotating her head with the mouse wheel stuff like that and it's just it's very sim very simple very organic it's not absolutely perfect but it definitely gets the job done and this this sort of makes the whole 3d model thing come all together because before i was like wondering like okay how does this even work and like why is there no lock function and it turns out it was under my nose all these years I've been using this program for like you know two three years and I've never found that out until just recently so just wanted to pass this on to you guys because this really just changes how this program works in general especially with the 3d modeling aspect so it's just a lot easier to have more cohesive models for you to have reference from or if you just want to make comics out of the models in any case uh, message me at uh, k at mangasidiosensei.com or go to my website at mangasidiosensei.com and leave a leave a comment or whatnot and I uh, just look forward to interacting with all of you and if you have any questions or or want something specific to be addressed in future videos or content then just please give me a ring <laughs> anyway thanks bye